guess what? We're back to King's Quest V. In King's Quest V, you find yourself outside the Swarthy Hog Inn, and because you're supposed to explore every nook and cranny, you give it a try. Ooh, I'll wait for you out here. I don't like that place. Cedric, you don't want to go anywhere, you useless flying Elmo Gungan. But in this case, his fears were justified because despite the cheerful music, the inn is run by bad guys. And they lock you up for having the nerve to step into their seemingly legitimate business while they're talking crime stuff. Okay, so you're dead. Well, this is why you save your game before doing absolutely anything, right? You learned your lesson, you know, not to go back in there again. Not that frustrating, right? No, the death itself isn't the frustrating part. The frustrating part is you do need to go back in there again. And you have no way of knowing that. Oh, but okay, but once I find the tool that obviously helps me escape, I'll make the connection, right? Oh no. Do you know what you need to do in order to escape? Before you go in there, you need to throw a boot at a cat so that later the rat will set you free. I told you I'd repay your kindness when you saved me from that horrible cat! How the hell are we supposed to figure that out? How are we supposed to deduce the cause and effect going on there? The only way to figure it out without a strategy guide is if you accidentally do it in the right order the first time. And the only purpose of the detour is to get a rope and some meat. This is kind of a microcosm of the general frustrations of King's Quest V, which is the most relentless and rigid game in the entire franchise. Well, at least you get to watch Cedric get injured a lot. Pity you have to save him each time. 